Okay, so this is our rocket stove. It's a nice technology that was uh, created by people out in the working out in the third world, helping the developing nations. They were discovering that people who were using cook stoves indoors were getting emphysema and cancer, even children as young as nine. So these good people, about 30 years ago, uh, decided to fix that problem, and the end result is a rocket stove. So we've looked at that technology and decided to make it a little bit better. Traditionally, they're made of bricks and clay. Uh, using an oil drum, so what we've done is made a metal one, heavily engineered, so it'll last, and uh, obviously doing what it should be doing. So what we're calling this, the rocket stove, is a battery charger, and we're calling your thermal mass, it can be any shape you want, as you can see we've got a beautiful corner sofa here, uh, we're calling your thermal mass your battery. So you can have that thermal mass any shape you like, it can be your kitchen unit, it can be a block underneath your worktop, anything like but obviously a nice seating area would be perfect for your garden situation. So I'm just going to take you through the lighting process in a sec, but basically once we've lit it from cold, lighting your fire for around two hours will begin to charge your battery, if not fully charged, in three hours it will be fully charged. Um, with that three hour burn of charging your, your battery, you'll get at least a 12 to 15 hour return from your battery. If you burn your fire for a full evening, 10, 12 hours, you're going to get two days return before you're, you're back to cold again. Um, we're going to have cushions on top, which obviously helps to hold the heat in. You'll get several hours more uh, retained heat uh, with cushions on, and obviously it's more comfortable on your bum. Right, so I'm going to take you through the lighting process. Very, very simple. There's no need to prime this so like uh, some of the ones abroad you may have to, this one you don't, small piece of paper, you can light it inside, I prefer to do it outside because I'm a bit not fussy, keep it going, okay stick it inside, small sticks, very simple, pop some of them on top, when you snap, crackle and pop, you can start piling bigger stuff on. That sounds like snack and crackle. This system actually, as it was uh, developed, what they were concerned about was emissions. And of course, they nailed it, being the guys that they are. And this system will give out up to 95% less emissions than a standard open fire. It gets so hot inside, it gets to 1500 degrees and more, which means it burns all the soot, all the ash, and all the gases. If you were to just put that stick on an open fire, believe it or not, you'd only burn around about 8 to 12% of the potential fuel in it. This system burns 95%. So, on top of that, your carbon footprint is massively reduced. And we're actually going to do some maths on that. Uh, so we can let you know what your personal saving is. Now we've got some of those smaller sticks going, some slightly larger sticks. Don't pile these on. Right, so I'm just going to take a reading of this now with the laser uh, temperature reader. Um, we had this fire going this morning for around about two hours and the mass is still sat at 33 degrees. The fire went out, I should say, what time did it go? Yeah, the fire went out at least four and a half to five hours ago. So the mass is actually, like I say, still sat at 32.8 degrees there uh, at the front end. And here it's still 32.5 degrees, 0.3 now, yeah 32.5, between 32.5 32.3 and it would be slightly more than that if we had left the cushions on because obviously cold air wants to get the hot away, <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's quite a good result. Right, also we just made this little, this little cover. So if you want to speed up the process, now you see fire is just nice and rocking away now, but if you want to get it going a bit quicker, get a 
a better temperature on top, so if you want to fry some bacon or whatever, um, you can just speak for itself, you can hear the difference. Okay, so that's really burning the wood very, very quickly right now. Yeah, so that'll just help you get a really high temperature quite quickly. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to load you up with some uh, tall sticks to make life a lot easier and it all becomes self feeding So what I like to do is just put this slider up to the back, just drop your sticks in, and that's it. So what will happen is now, just as long as you're not over pack it, it's not too tight, your sticks will slip down. If you overpack it, obviously you know you can have a problem, so you must make sure they're not too tightly packed. So a four to six is plenty. And what will happen now is, like I said before, the, just the bottom two to three inches of the sticks are on fire. It's all shooting forward. It's actually the fire that burns upside down and back to front. But what will happen is, as they burn away, the, um, they'll, they'll collapse under, under their own weight, creating a bed, keep them burning, and keep them going. And that's it. It's a great thing. Right, so now, obviously, I've sat down on my beautiful sofa. Um, it's 34.5 degrees. That's going to be sort of lit since, uh, well, it's the first burn since this morning. And it's really nice and warm under your home. <laughs> so you can imagine if you were sat in your garden, rather than having a chimney and all the heat and all the, all the fuel being wasted, you're capturing your heat, you and your guests are sat on heated seated in your garden. Uh, it's going to return heat for you know a good few hours or as long as you're burning. Many people have got these in the houses in Canada and America where this technology was developed. And um, I'll sort of have more in my house when I can afford it. Uh, the way I've adapted this, this system is so that you can actually burn the fire logs as well. A lot of people probably couldn't be bothered. Uh, we, we stick, or maybe it's just easier sometimes, I find it easier sometimes when I can't be bullied and I just buy a little bag. One of those bags of, uh, of these kind of uh, fire brick or fire log, whatever you call them, will get you at least four charges to your battery. Four 24 hour charges. Great. Okay, so dead dead simple, just put them on the bed. Get a bit of a bed going, I mean I have actually lit these myself using a fire lighter just the traditional way you would with a traditional fire. Uh, the nice thing about these is, you know, they're smoke free and uh, they're all DEFRA approved. And they're nice and easy, very, very little ash, and they'll just sit and smolder away. Now, there's two ways of burning these. Um, one is you can just have a nice steady away fire, which I like. Once my, once my battery's charged and I'm led there watching a movie on my laptop, I just put a, a little bed of them on and just let it smolder away, keeping the battery to charge. Or if you want to use those to actually get your, get your battery charged up and to get your top nice and hot uh, for cooking on, again, just use your little air vent, just pop that on, and that will get your airflow going much, much quicker. And again, get you to a rocking hot temperature. with this um, you can buy the unit as it is and we'll give you full installation instructions if you know a good bricky um, it is actually relatively easy because basically what you've got is a brick framework with a certain mass inside and your flue pipe running through it um, in your garden situation um, you, you probably would recommend you have it slightly different to the way I've done it I've just had the flue running single line through here and you can see it's exiting out of that wall um, but what we'll do with your garden situation is, and what you should actually do, is put a double line in so your flue comes along the front, curls round where that flue is, comes back on itself, and then your flue should exit somewhere behind the unit itself. Obviously, this is a small room and it would be far, far too overpowering for this room. In fact, the single line in this room is, is actually too much at times when we've got it up to full temperature and full charge. You've got to open the door to the big warehouse at the back and open the windows. Um, so the options are we can come and install it for you. You can see our uh, craftsmanship is very, very good. It's to a very high standard. 
and uh, the other option is you can buy the, uh, the unit yourself and we'll give you full installation instructions. Uh, something I'd like to throw in as well is that the way the system burns, because it burns all the fuel in the, uh, in the wood, all the potential fuel in the wood, or at least 95% of it, 90% at least, is that all that comes out of the flue and goes into the, the sky and into our atmosphere and our planet is steam. So this is probably, as far as carbon emissions goes, this is probably one of the, one of the lowest in carbon emissions systems you can buy.